wanted to create a rural farm setting style brewery that was more of a destination spot, a place where people could come not just to visit a brewery or take a brewery tour, but to spend the afternoon and spend some time with their friends and their family and really immerse themselves into the entire facility. I'm Todd Ussery, one of the owners and brewmaster here at Breckenridge Brewery in Littleton, Colorado. Yeah, some guys want fancy cars or maybe trophy wife, something like that. But I always wanted a Steinecker brew house. Um, I've, I've loved Steinecker. I've loved the history of the company. Um, we went with a traditional brew house here to make sure that the aesthetics were right and fit the place. This is really where Colorado manufacturing, beer manufacturing in particular, meets down home comfort, Colorado ranch, um, rural setting. So Steinecker system in its traditional form with a mezzanine that can be viewed from our beer garden um, fits the bill perfectly. Consistency, quality, and product innovation are, are three um, benchmarks for us. And uh, we, we utilize a, a sensory panel room and do tastings two to three times a week. In terms of the filling line, the packaging hall, uh, we've been Cronus fans for a while. We, uh, our other brewery, which we just moved from, we've been there 20 years and uh, used uh, one of the very first craft brewery sized uh, filling systems from Cronus, a 20 valve system, and, and loved that machine. So there was really no question what we were going to go with in terms of bottle filling here at the new facility. Um, it's uh, a 45 valve system that will run 300 bottles per minute. We also went with a Crohn's uh, can filler and seamer, which will do up to 300 cans per minute, 12 ounce cans per minute as well. We installed a vapor condenser system um, early on there were some issues from our neighbors, or some concerns, I should say, from our neighbors about uh, what they called odor, I call aroma, emitting from the plant. So we worked with the folks at Cronus to uh, reduce the emissions down to 95%, and uh, there was really no aroma coming out of the brewery, but plenty inside. And we did it for that reason, but we're enjoying now a lot of energy efficiencies, up to 1,500 gallons of, of hot brewing water that's created from that system with each brew. The system is set up so that we can expand to the Equitherm system. Right now we already have the vapor condenser, we have the energy recovery vessel. Um, we'll have to add another vessel for weak wort, but then we'll be able to use the hot water generated from the vapor condenser um, in the system to create even more energy efficiencies. Thank <laughs> you.